Well, as you can see here, I have a vase, a napkin, an hourglass, a fork. These are the elements I'm going to insert into my place setting scene. So how do we do this? We go back to the folder, next to the word save, you insert. This time the files are on your computer. So if you've downloaded those and they're in your download folder, now they're on your computer. So you select your computer, chair, sorry, work, open, insert as component. There it is. And as you can see, it's very large. Now I'm going to insert from my computer hourglass. Insert as component. Now I'm going to insert from my computer vase green. Insert. Huge. Now I'm going to insert from my computer napkin. Insert as component. And there it is, quite large. Okay, so as I dem want to demonstrate, there's a scale tool. This is called scale, and we'll start with the biggest object. So first I select it, then I use the scale tool. It's the third one down under move, and I grab a corner, and I scale uniform, and let's pan out of it, scale it smaller, and then now let's look at it from top view. I'm going to move, use a central point, and place it on your table. Next, the napkin looks very large, so I select it, use the scale tool to scale it, and then use the move tool, move it. Oh, doesn't look like it's on the table. Okay, looks a little large, so I'm going to continue to oops, scale, use scale, sorry, scale, here we go, there. Now, I'm going to look at it from front view. As you can see, things need to be moved onto the table. So you're going to use the move tool. Remember, select the bottom of your selection tool, drag it upward. You can see a problem with this one. My placement needs to be moved. So I'm going to use the move tool. Make sure, oops, click. Now it's on there. Now I'm going to use a select tool here and move my object down to the table. Top view. Um, it's a good idea to rotate this at this point. So maybe, can again, select a corner, select another corner, and now, I guess move into position and a fork. Let's see. So I select my fork. I'm going to move my fork. Look at it from multiple angles. I'm going to then move my fork up. Or it sits on the napkin properly. I'm also going to move it this direction. So. 
you can see it's right inside the table. Let's rotate it over here. Select. Select. Now I'm going to move. And I'm going to move it up. so that it sits on top of my napkin. There we go. And then, oops, it's still missing. There it is, I see. Let's move it over. And then scale. seems appropriate then move it into the exact location where I want it there Oops. hit the escape key now if you again make a rectangular marquee around the fork in the napkin you should have oops didn't look like it there we go. Now, you can right click and make a group. Then go control C, control V. Place it here. Control V. Place it here. Using the pan tool. Control V. Place it here. Hit, hit the escape key to deselect or just click somewhere else. Looks like this one needs to be completely turned. I'm going to group it. Okay. Group. Right click. Make a group. Use the rotate tool. Select a corner. Select the corner, move it around, back to the move tool, put it in position. In this case, I'm going just to select the napkin fork group and then use the rotate tool to rotate it. There. And then I'm going to move it where I want, right there. And finally, select the napkin and fork group, rotate here, oops, select the plate. I'm going to select here, maybe here, rotate, oops. Control Z, remember, resilience. You don't want to give up if things go wrong. Use, use the rotate tool. Select a corner. You can see the protractor there. Then use the move tool to position it. It is a nice effect if all of the placemats and place settings do not look the same. Again, if you want to group something, you put a marquee around the whole thing, you right click on the object and make it into a group. Then you can move the entire group all at once. And let's revisit the vase as a final issue. You see the vase is too high so I have to make sure I use the select tool to select it. Then I use the move tool, select the bottom of the line, 
interactively using your mouse wheel, place it on the table, and snap. Now look at it from top view, zooming out, using the pan tool. I believe this will be a nice... Oh, yeah, select, move. Let's group this. Make a, make a group here. Right click. Make a group. Use the move tool. Move it this and this way a little bit. And give that base a little more room. Now, the final steps. Put it back into perspective. I see the hourglass. We forgot about it. Just hit delete for now. Rotate, zoom in, use the pan tool, continue to zoom in. I want you to provide me a PNG with an aesthetically pleasing angle and central location. Save. Name your product. This is place setting dinner table. Click save here. You can see it says saving. Be patient. Let it save. Once you have the word save, use the folder next to your word save to export PNG. Down here in the bottom right, you can export PNG, continue. And when you see place setting di dining, dining table PNG, you know it's in your downloads folder. Navigate to your downloads folder. Once again, my PNG opens in paint. I crop it down. And here's your final image. If you make it this far, you are truly elite.